Okay, so one of the questions I get asked a lot is how you set up guided access. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. You're going to want to open Settings. Once under Settings, on the left-hand side, go to General, all right? Under General, we move to the right-hand side of the screen, and we're going to go to Accessibility. Okay, from accessibility, we're going to scroll down to guided access. We're going to turn it on, passcode settings. We're going to set a guided access passcode. Make it harder than 111111. I'm just doing that for today. Okay, get out of there. Let's go into protocol to go. So I'm going to triple click my home button. It says guided access started. Okay. Triple click it again. One, two, three. I'm going to hit one, 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 one. So as you can see in the top left, I can push end to quit guided access. I can hit resume to start it back up again. At the bottom of the screen, right, I have hardware button options. So I can turn off and on the sleep and wake button. I can make the volume button inaccessible. I can turn motion on and off. That means that if you rotate your iPad, does the screen turn and keep up with the rotation of the iPad, I can also turn keyboards on and off, okay? On the bottom right, I have time limit options. So I can turn it on and make it anywhere from one minute all the way up to 23 hours and 59 minutes. All right. What this does is it allows us to use the iPad for a certain amount of time. So I'm going to go to zero. I'm going to turn that off. All right. The other thing at the bottom here is you can hit this touch button and you see the screen, right? It faded to gray. I'm going to hit resume. Now, None of my buttons are accessible on my screen, right? So that would be good if you're watching YouTube and you don't want the kid to like flip through to other YouTube videos. You just want them to watch that particular one. I'm gonna triple click one more time. One, 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 one. I'm gonna turn off touch. My favorite part of this is that you can highlight areas with your finger by drawing lines that you can um, make inaccessible. So watch, I'm just going to draw a big circle in the middle of the screen, right? I'm going to hit resume. You can see the faded circle, so I can hit in if I hit it in that corner, but if I hit it down at the bottom left, it doesn't work. Of doesn't work, stop isn't working, but fun works. Sky zone works, all right? Go home, one, two, three, one, 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 one. I can also highlight like a whole row down here. Minimize it. Hit resume. And now, whoever's using the iPad, if we don't want them to be able to edit, the edit pencil doesn't work. All right, the keyboard doesn't work. One, 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 one. It's important to remember that you cover the whole button because as you can see, let's see if I just leave a little bit uncovered and I accidentally hit the top of that, it brings up the edit function, okay? So you wanna cover the button completely. One, 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 one. To get rid of what you've covered, you just hit the X on the gray area, so I'm gonna make this bigger. You see the X in the top left? That turns it off, then you hit end. And there you go, guided access ended, all right? Also to show you, here's guided access. If I enter the password wrong, so let's say one, two, one, 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 right? It says incorrect passcode, try again after 10 seconds. If that happens a bunch, it can take a really long time to reset um, guided access. So don't do that. <laughs> it's the best advice I have for you is just don't do that. 